Hi, I am Adesha Rouge, CSI Director for Marathon Oil Corporation. Today I want to talk to you about the new initiative we started in the state of Wyoming. Methamphetamine is a major issue in the United States. Certainly the state of Wyoming is among the top five states affected by this blight. Working with uh, the communities in the state of Wyoming, with our employees that could be affected by this blight, we have launched an initiative with uh, 11 major presentations on awareness and education about meth. Marathon hopes that this program acts as a catalyst that will motivate the community to try finding a solution for this plague. Marathon's employees uh, are part of the community and hope to work together with the community leaders in defining a solution. Marathon Oil Company uh, has stepped out to the community and, and has identified that methamphetamine is a problem in our community as well as the community has known that. So they were here to give us an education and give us some information on what methamphetamines will do to individuals, but to families and the fabric of America. As we began to bring this program to Campbell County, Gillette, Wyoming, the, all the folks around the community jumped on board, the radio stations, various businesses, volunteers from within Marathon, volunteers from outside our company, uh, to make this quite a, a unique and very successful team effort. It covered uh, a broad range of uh, topics about methamphetamine, what it is, uh, how it's used, uh, what it does to people, long-term effects, short-term effects, uh, very important what it does to children that are around uh, people that are either users or manufacturing it, uh, very informative. Wyoming's methamphetamine initiative, the power of informed process, we're trying to help with that. We're trying to be part of the information providing. Response to the meth crisis is ultimately a story of how hope, determination, and positive change emerge from crisis. An ambitious initiative to rid the state of meth and meth addiction is underway, and it make, marks a shift in priorities from enforcement to treatment. And I'm going to add my own line in there, in er education and awareness. That's my part, education and awareness. The serious methamphetamine problem started on the west coast, Oregon, California. Watch it. So we start in 92, 1997, 2002. There's not a state, there's not a city, there's not a county that's unaffected by methamphetamines. According to the National Survey on Drug Use and Health 2006 report, rates of past year methamphetamine use among persons age 12 or older were among the highest in Nevada, Montana, and Wyoming. I'm grateful because Eddie did such a great job of bringing in all the aspects that are public, that our people needed to hear, and um, it was very comprehensive. I want to be part of the solution, and you know, that's all, I guess, if you are aware, this just made me think of all the horrors that happened while I was using it. I was shocked to find out that it's like the worst drug, the number one drug in the nation, and that Wyoming's on the top three, that shocked me, and that scared me, you know, because I was dealing it. I just hope that, you know, all of us can feel that way. And there's no, you're never beyond help. You can always get help. It really hit home with me because uh, I have a little sister, or had a little sister that died in uh, 1989 from uh, a drug overdose. And after I saw the presentation, it was so powerful to me that I felt that maybe this is something that I could uh, maybe make something good out of that. With this presentation, if we can keep one person from starting down the, the road to methamphetamine, um, we've, we've done something good.